What's up, folks? Welcome back. I'm happy today because this video is all about auto. This track is off her latest album, and I'm looking down the numbers. 11 million views in one month. Let's go. That's huge. She's winning. Like, she's getting the recognition she deserves, you know? And I respect her so much because I like the albums, but I saw her live, and that's important to me. Do you sound live like you do in your album? She does. And it's not like it's chill. It's a demanding book, man. Her band is kick-ass. Her arrangements are intense. The tracks, <laughs> it's a wild entertainment experience. Like, if you know her... You already know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you're about to be entertained. I haven't heard this yet. This is Rule or Rule, depending on that capital L. Whatever. I'm excited. Let's go. Hmm. It's a fun bass groove. Oh, okay. So it's a cute hook that we start with. That's fun. Mm. That's cool, son. There it is. Mm. Wow, nice development. Oh, the 8-bit stuff is cool. Fucking chainsaw. Oh my god, the phrasing. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, we gotta stop at the chorus here. No one expected on the pre-chorus to hear chainsaw. Come on, man, that's wild. All right, let's talk about what's going on musically. Uh her voice is obviously killer, but let's talk about what's going on with the track first. Because I feel like I'm playing a video game with this opening uh keyboard lick. Especially right here. Think it again and that harmony. I feel like I've just won something. But that really kind of builds you up where when we drop into this uh cute little like uh, it's like a little hook here with a really sick bass line underneath. Like, it kind of made sense for that transition, right? Oh, I didn't even, sorry. I didn't even notice that, like, kind of the video game 8-bit sounds were already mixed in on the left side of the track right there. That's cool. So, everything making complete sense. No one would predict chainsaws are, are coming, but they are coming. This is fun, though. Good use of repeated rhythms. All right, but here we go. There's our clean tone version of the melody in the verse. We're going to get this four times, and it's going to, we're just basically going to have theme and development, right? Because the voice is going to augment. Now we know this about her. She has such a beautiful and soothing voice, and then it turns very, well, both sides are beautiful because beauty after all is in the eye of the beholder but she has a very angled and aggressive side uh and they're just complete opposites and i feel like case in point and what we've heard so far within this autos the reason i love her so much is because unlike other artists some other you listen to the radio you like listening like oh it's like everything sounds the same oh wow cookie cutter you can play her for like half of a second you're like oh that's auto 100% automatically know who the vocalist already. That's when you know you really are putting a mark on something and your musicianship is of high quality, in my opinion. You can let me know if you think the same way. Uh, anyway, you come in. There's no question on this melody how she delivers this. I can't do it, obviously, but we get a little blues factor in there. The way the notes are traveling, the contour of the line is very good, and that's going to change, not change, it's going to augment, and just we're going to put some seasoning on that, and it's going to get quite aggressive as we go here, but that theme is basically staying the same. We're just kind of adapting that. We're giving some variation to that. That's very musical. The other cool thing that's happening right here is we just came out of that, that cute hook, remember, with the cool synth bass line and all the, uh, it was pretty loud with all the 8-bit sounds happening. That all gets out of the way, so you can have these, like, I don't know what you want to call this, but, like, video game sounding uh, harpsichord keyboard type of a line underneath. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. On the left side. 
almost like honky tonk esque. The point is, it's super thin in comparison to all the massive sound we just had. So you really allow and accentuate that beautiful tone voice on top. The cool, like, uh, kind of swoopy bass line is obviously still there, but those are elements that I feel don't. I mean, they need to be there because that's our low end, but it's just, it's how cool that keyboard sound on the left is that just really helps push her voice. I mean, her voice is amazing, but you get what I'm saying though. These ingredients are super important to the whole, the whole sound combination. And right here, nice response to that call. Beautiful. But now... Obviously, we get the augmentation there and then the instrument's response. Boom. Wow, 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 wow. We get way more aggressiveness in the rhythm to bring us into the B side of this verse. Oh my god, the eight, that feels very video game-esque right there. That's really cool writing. Uh, the snare drum sound is changed. The drums are much more uh, explosive in how they're being used. And that keyboard sound borderline sounds like, I don't know, keyboard slash distorted guitar. Kind of DAW patches. All very 8-bit-esque, yet perfect for what's going on. We'll grab that again. How good is that? It's so good. But... We got the ensemble hit and just, I was expecting like something or whatever, not like we're just going to suddenly it's the doom soundtrack and we're like, oh shit, here we are. But with all that being said, the double time that came, didn't think it was going to happen. Let's listen to this. So double time. So this is where our speed is now. We're obviously just going to go to just multiplied by two. But the cool part is, is the vocal phrasing of what she gives us during the double time. You know what I'm talking about? I can't even hit stop during it. It's so good. I think what we talked about earlier with her distinguished sound, you're getting such a... Uh, Again, I'm not a vocalist. I can't give you any voc vocabulary. Uh, all I can say is this. Like, I've gigged with a shit ton of vocalists over the years with really good people, folks that, you know, have done Broadway and West End and professional stuff, amateurs to semi-pro. A lot of folks, some people that were just freaking amazing, all of them had their strengths, but they were usually in, like, certain areas. It, it's like the reason I geek out with her is because her strengths are so multi-directional because we'll be so committed one way for like four bars then we're so committed the other way but then like right here in this double time butt rock section coming out of the chainsaw she's up in this aggressive high <laughs> register but still gives us like moments of the beautiful tone and then goes back and it's happening at the same time and in the intro i talked about her doing this live because that was my biggest thing i went into that show going okay like i dig these albums i dig this artist but i was reserved in my head going what is it going to be like? Because she does such a unique like approach with her artistry and that shit happens live, man. It's so cool. So it's like, I can't wait whenever, the, hopefully this tour happens. Uh, I want to go and hear stuff like this. Anyway, we're tangent Tony in here. We don't need to do that. We'll go back about 10 seconds here. Appreciate this. And let's see where this goes. <laughs> Fun keyboard part underneath. Oh my god. What? I love the drum tone right there. That was cool. Bop, 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 bop. The five note combinations with her exploratory slash signature vibratos, man. It's the. We talked about it before. It's that aggressive Janis Joplin type sound that just is undeniable, man. You know who it is. You know what I'm saying, though? 
ba 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 and then it just takes it to the next level and we augment even more the progression underneath is super simple obviously but it needs to be you you can't have <laughs> we can't it can't be like gasoline the whole time at some time you got to like let the campfire just be a campfire before it like explodes again so the progression and what's going on underneath it works really really well so shout out to the sound design team because you're doing a very good job of giving us like both uh both ends there so that's really cool um, sorry, I want it one more time in context, all the way to the end of that, the little drum fill, and we'll, we'll let it go on this time. The response is, that's cool. Yeah, was not expect like coming out of that like there's so many choices where you could go that was just a really creative choice i dig it i know i said i let it go on but i was like no we can't because that was really cool let's go back and grab that one more time <laughs> okay back to the beginning obligatory halftime groove on it though cool oh, cool variations here instrumentally way more video game -esque. <laughs> it's so aggressive man all right so small changes but lots of similarities i feel like we got a lot more aggressive on the vocals at the end but our video game properties uh underneath in the progression were pretty similar but they have some cool uh little I, I just feel like i can those are a lot more tangible this time around who knows? It's only been a little bit since we listened to them. And this is not one of those tracks where you just like listen to once. and You're like, oh, yeah, I just got it all. It's not, man. You got to go back a million times. And be like, look at all the cool uh, little layers that are happening here. The call and response is similar. Jesus Christ, dude. I just feel like her voice, there's so much more uh, depth to it on this part. I feel like a, an enriched lower end, which uh, even though, so we called it like, the, we talked about uh, theme and variation in the first time of the verse. Now we're getting the verse a second time. I still feel like there's more uh, variation to that theme though, even though the theme is still the same. It's really cool. Though. Very musical. Jesus. That's so wild, man. To come out of that, that to get, get that, to get, get that, to get. So like eighth note, two sixteenths. That, to get, that, to get, that, to get. That being our main focal point on our groupings, displaced though and put into a groove and over the bar line. Obviously, um, I know we already talked about it, but you have to bring it again because it was like more emphasized that time. She's, excuse me, doing such a hardcore job of getting just all those multi-tone, multi-aggressive articulations happening at the same time within that it's just wild i'm literally paying zero attention to the lyrics i know they're in front of me i'm just looking at i'm just when i i'm not actually looking it's just like you know it's like faded out i'm just listening uh, i wonder what the lyrics are about though after this video i'll have to go back and be like sounds fucking angry <laughs> like something's happening here and there's chainsaws again on the screen but uh all that really doesn't matter to me though i'm just sitting there going that's a really cool rhythmic grouping to have while giving us such harsh and soothing tones at the same time I know we've already said it, but it's such a unique. Who else does that? Does anybody else do that that you listen to? No one that I listens to listens to does that. It's very unique for me. 
You can't get over like this descending da 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 and then beautiful major chord and then bullet like there's so much you know the engineering team was like at some point they had to like crack up laughing when they were making this like dude this is fucking crazy and I mean that in a that's a compliment I mean that in a very good way all right back a couple seconds we'll let it play out. Next listening must read the lyrics. Okay, there it is. Let me know what you think about the song down in the comments below. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for my socials down in the video description below. Please and thank you. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel and catch the next video. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. YouTube thinks you want to watch one of these two videos next. Have a great day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.